All right, so now we're gonna look at some of my favorite tools that we find within Google Docs. And where David was focused much more on that insert menu, uh, the things that I like that I think are pretty valuable here within Google Docs are found under the tools menu here. Now, you've probably used some of these before, like the spelling and grammar checker, um, but it has changed a little bit recently. And now those different um, items come up as part of the proofread. So I have this document here, doesn't really matter what it is. I was into whales for a little while, not too long ago. So, and how whales communicate with each other, which is the basis of this article that we have here. And so under the tools, I'm gonna find proofread is now there. And one thing that you'll notice here on this document before I get into it, I do have some spelling errors in there and some grammar things that need to be adjusted. And you can handle all of those under the proofread this document. And now you'll see that instead of them um, popping up right next to the, the particular word on the document itself, it's showing up here on the side as suggestions. And so, okay, obviously I spelled the word number incorrectly here. And it says, hey, do you want to replace this and accept the suggestion? So I can click either here on number and it will change. Or if I have another one that is also a spelling problem, I can also click the check button and it's going to change that word for me as well. And then it automatically wants to advance to the next issue that's on there. So you'll see that it, it works for spelling, but it also gives you suggestions on how you can reword things. So instead of, for example, saying helps to focus, you know, we can eliminate a word, be a little bit more concise and choose helps focus. And it even gives you a little bit of reasoning why you might want to make that change in the first place. So instead of which allows, maybe a, a added to allowing, you know, if you like the way that it is worded, you don't have to take the suggestion that it gives you and instead just hit the X button. And then that squiggly line then and the highlight that it was um, around those words is now gone. Um, so that's really neat. Um, you can also hear within these different suggestions, if you want to only deal with, say, the problem that you're having with conciseness, you can filter to just conciseness, conciseness, and it brings up just the ones that deal with those particular issues. Um, so if you had just spelling ones, you know, you can go back and you can focus on just the spelling ones that are on there and handle those ones as well. So those are the proofread options. There's also some settings in there. Like if you know you don't want it to look at active voice, for example, you can unselect that one and it won't, it won't, it will filter those ones out automatically. <laughs>